Looking to save big on holiday shopping? Xfinity Mobile has you covered. Now through January 10th, ask how existing Xfinity customers can get a free unlimited intro line for a year when they buy one line of unlimited. Plus, see how to get $400 off an eligible 5G phone. Visit XfinityMobile.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary. This is a Bramble Jam podcast. Hi, everyone. It's Varan. <laughs> hey. I love all our Christmas movies. Hey, it's Panda. I give five stars to this oh, intro. Oh, oh, and I like I'm Dan. All our Christmas movies. I didn't know we were dressing up and doing puns, but <laughs> needless to say, I despise Hallmark Christmas movies. And, and this, this is, is the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Hi, everyone. Oh. We good? Back in the saddle. We good? It's Thursday. Thursday. Fourth of the week. That's right. Boy, we are getting it done. I don't want to say too soon, but this, this might be the best we've ever been. This is this, this is our peak. Yeah. After this, it goes downhill. Yeah. I am doing a couple of different things you here. Are. There's a lot going on One. Here. You, first of all, have the it backwards. Yes. Oyve on backwards, which is interesting. <laughs> so it's uh. yav yo. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a, one of those exclamation points. This is what I get when I try to just like throw Hanukkah bone. <laughs> Wait till John can't even do that. that right, man. No, I'm just cannot. like, hey, Hanukkah's coming up in yeah. a couple weeks. We're excited about that. Man. I can't even do that right. Backwards Oyve, you're making fun of it over there. Hey, you know what a backwards Oyve is? Yep, yo. Just uh, yep, uh, yo. It's still it's still it's happy. Yep, yo. <laughs> it's funny. You take your Oyve and you say, "Switch a real." <laughs> Don't know what happened. You don't know what to do. It's a yum yum. <laughs> uh, Hanukkah. Oh. Hanukkah's coming up. It's the and fourth movie of the week, but it's also the third we've watched today yeah. and reviewed for those of you who want a little insider scoop. So we're feeling it right now. You want to know what? Uh, <laughs> I, feel, I feel fresh. Have like you been, have have you been drinking? No. You, you want to know what? Uh, People would think that on people these days, so always think that we're drinking. On we're these not. days, we people ask. We us should be lot. drinking. Why we're, are we, we not? Drinking? I don't know why we're not, but we don't. It's we been don't. Like an unwritten rule, we yeah. never uh, dr- dr- drink, Stay and we don't drink. We don't imbibe. We don't drink in DTH. You open up the dirty window. Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find. Reaching for something in the distance, so close you can almost taste it. Release your inhibitions. Feel the rain. On your skin, no one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else, no one else can speak the words on your lips. Leave yourself with words unspoken. Live your, Live your life, life with arms wide open. This Today day is. is this day is. Uh, it is this one. Mm. The rest is still unwritten. Really? Just like the rule about us not drinking That's in right. Hallmark. It's an unwritten rule, but we don't drink in I BTH. am concerned about your health. Yes. Why? Um, <laughs> what is this? Five star Christmas? Five star Christmas. Five. Star. All five of them. How five. many stars? Star. Not one. Not two. Not three. Not four. But five. How many croaks? <laughs> Now, uh, as you mentioned, this is the f- uh, third of the day for third us. day for us, yeah. And if you are a Bramble Jam Plus member, DTH or All Access, you're able to watch live right. on so the can, Facebook group. You can see the devolution of us today. <laughs> How can people <laughs> sign up? You can go to BrambleJamPlus.com. If you sign up at the Deck to Hallmark tier, you're going to get that Facebook group. You're going to get a movie thread chat for every Ooh. movie mm-hmm. Which, mm-hmm. that always mm-hmm. blows up. Hundreds of comments. You're going to get to watch every episode live before they even air on Friendly. We go live and we're... Look, if we... We're out here on the tightrope, tie guys. If we say something wrong, people hear it all across the world. You can hear that. That is probably why we don't drink. That's why it's that unwritten. That probably yeah. is, is we don't drink in DTH for a lot of reasons, but yeah. we're, we're alive every time we do this. There's no editing here. No. Maybe the last episode of the year, we'll get a little, get a little crazy. Okay. Get a little woo. Didn't we have a celebratory drink for the last episode our first year? Uh, maybe. We did. Yeah, I think. we did. Yeah. Uh, but we did a lot no. that night, though. We did. We did like six or seven. And then and we Palaha had, yeah. gave away a script that took three years to, to get, get to somebody. Yeah. She got it, Emily. Hey, um, you guys want to talk about uh, five-star Christmas? Are you going to make it, buddy? <clears throat> five stars? Yeah, I'm just excited. Yeah. 
I uh, I did a lot of yelling during this movie. You did. So, uh, you also just sing a little. Uh, yeah. Unwritten. Unwritten. Gosh. You got to start low there. Yeah, it'll it'll sneak up on you. Yeah. Stay here. Because <laughs> if you start if you start where you want it, if you start where you want to end, there. you'll never get there. You'll end where you don't want to yeah. end up. Um, Five Star Christmas originally aired on November twenty eighth, twenty twenty. 2020. And it went a little something like this. The Ralstons are all coming together for Christmas. Lucy just got back into town and goes to buy some hot chocolate and sassafras candy canes from her favorite general store. She bumps into a guy who wants the same exact candy cane, and they get into a historical debate about candy canes. Winner takes all, losers walk. And uh, she he ends up buying the candy cane for her, and uh, and it's a very sweet moment. So she gets to the house and she's like, um, this is not my house. Her brother and sister show up and they're like, uh, this looks like an inn. This isn't our house. And dad shows up and it's like, so I've got some news. It, this is an inn. Um, I missed you guys. I decided since I have a ginormous house, turn it into an inn. And that way I'll have some company and it'll be a good time. Um, but the business isn't going super well. There's not a lot of guests going on. Currently, no guests in the inn. Plenty of room there. Um, but there's a mystery travel critic who's in the area. And they are hopeful if, 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 if she comes by and reviews the inn, then people will flock to the inn. So they're not sure if it's going to happen. But suddenly... This lady comes pulling up. She has a flat tire. And um, Lucy notices that on her purse, it says B.T., mm -hmm. which she thinks must stand for the critic's name, Bay Turner. Bay Turner? Bay. B. B. Bay. B. Bay. B. B. A. E. That's B. A. It's B. Bay. No. I wrote it down as Bay. You wrote yeah, it well, incorrect. You would be wrong. No, no, no. It's B. Turner. It's Bay. It's not Bay Turner. It's B Turner. I know what it. I know that it is, but I'm doing the switch <laughs> for Christmas. Um, so Bay is shows your, up. Do I need to read this? No. Nope. You sound like your voice is about to go. I feel second. great. Okay. I feel great. It, it sounds like it's a stri it, you're stri oh. <laughs> Dobby the house elf is with us. What a war are you doing? I thought <laughs> I crushed it. You are. You sound like you're strained on all levels here. Are you going to make it? So. uh BT shows up uh, and she's there. Uh, and uh, Lucy walks into the inn and Lucy she's Lucy. like, Everybody, Bay is here. Bay? <laughs> so we have to act like we're guests so that it doesn't seem like it is all empty. And so they all make up names and they're all going to do it. Lucy's still going to be the daughter because uh, dad introduced her when she pulled up. And so she walks in, everybody's freaking out, and suddenly a new guest walks in. His name is Jake Finley. And he says that he is here on a geological survey. He's going to be in town for a little bit, wants to stay at the end. So they all stick to the bit, even uh, for Jake. Lucy's sister, Amber, plays the chef, makes up this cheap soup that she makes in college, and it looks awful, but everybody loves it. Suddenly, Grandma shows up and is very confused about who everybody is in the house and almost blows the cover, but then when she finds out she gets to play a character she's like i'm all in on this they all go outside they, they build a snowman together and um lucy hurts herself snapping a twig as you do uh jake brings her inside helps her ice the ankle and they have a bit of a moment amber finds uh this old camcorder watches videos of her mom um who was a great baker chef all the above and gets very emotional watching her mom on camera lucy and Jake stay up late talking by the fire, sharing stories about the blue Christmas Elvis song and all that good stuff. Dad and BT start chatting more and she decides to stay another night. We find out that Jake is a writer for a company called B. Taylor. And obviously he's the one who is the real B. Taylor writing this review, but no one knows that. So 
there's this big Christmas festival in town. And Lucy's like, everyone stay home. I don't want anyone in town to recognize you, but they can't stay home. It's the Christmas festival. Um, and so they, uh, they're they walking around and Lucy's trying to make sure that nobody spots all the siblings that are there. Um, and he, uh, uh, he overhears her talking to her brother. And so she finally decides to come clean and say, hey, here's the situation. And, and, and uh, B. Taylor's here. And he's like, I've never heard of B. Taylor. So she starts walking around with Jake at the festival and she just puts it all out there. She's like, hey, I think you're hot. And they end up making out by the tree. It's a big fun. Um, so uh, back at the end, the next day, they're all making taffy together and the lights go out as they do. And Lucy says, hey, I'll go flip the breaker. The breaker is in Jake's room though. So when she goes in, she sees his computer open and sees she's writing an article as B. Taylor about the end. B. Turner. Bay Taylor. What are you so doing? Bay, right? So here's the situation. Bay Taylor. No, 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 no. I'm with Brian on yeah. this one. It's Bay Taylor. It's Bay <laughs> Good Taylor. talk. Bay, t- dude, you don't want to get on Bay Taylor's bad side. You wouldn't. Back Bay, to Bay side. Bay Taylor reviews podcast. And I'm trying to put in a good word. Yeah. So don't mess with the Bay Tay. Don't mess with the Bay Tay. So um, she is very upset about this. They go outside. They get into a big fight. And as uh, they, they kind of go their separate ways, she's like, I'm going to leave. And she's like, you should leave. Dad then tells BT, who is actually Beth, that he wants her to stay because he likes her. And she's like, sure, sure. Why not? Like you too. Then while Lucy's out of the town, Jake starts singing Blue Christmas brings it all back. They sing together, they dance, and they kiss. The review goes out and everyone loves it. They're getting all booked up and they end up all spending Christmas together. And all my friends was Five Star Christmas! We did it. Man. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. I Boy. only give that review three stars. No! What? No! Only three stars. That's a three star. When you synopsis. say that review synopsis, yeah, yeah I was like, what review are you talking? No. Well, I've I've seen your review of it. Two stars. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man, you are throwing shots today. Uh, just I'm feeling. But I'm, to be I'm fair, my own I did critic. at least didn't call anybody Bay Taylor in mine. Yeah. Okay. That's valid. You're a one star. <laughs> guys, I'm with Bay. On this one. Guys, Bay Taylor is listening. Right okay. Now. All right. We'll do our best. I'm seeing her. I uh, some for some reason she shared her Google Doc with me, so I can see what she's typing. Mm. And she was all in on the unwritten. Time out, she, she loved shared it. her Google Doc with you. Yeah, yeah me too. So she's taking notes. Yeah, and I can watch. You can watch. You can watch. edit it yeah, too. Then. Yeah. Or well, is it just I a wouldn't view? do that. It's just a view. It's just a view. Okay. I, I wouldn't it. do that either. Yeah. That's view only. That's view only. And you're telling me she loved the unwritten. <laughs> she bit, loved the unwritten, but has bit. not liked what we've done since then. She liked what I was doing, but she didn't like you guys butting in and trying to correct me. Like that kind of hurt her feelings. But she's not in the movie. I know. It was just a wink at her. That's how easy we can be bought. Yeah. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back here on Dr. Homework. Oh, boy. You know what time it is, everybody. You're making those Christmas playlists. You're having a wonderful mm-hmm. time, and you you want to jazz things up. Sure, Bing Crosby's great. Frank Sinatra, bring it on. But you want something else to add to the collection but not get too out-of-the-box crazy. Mm-hmm. You want something that when you hear it, you go, that's Christmas. And that's why I want to tell you about Lauren Daigle. Lauren Daigle put out an amazing Christmas album a couple years ago called Behold, and it is waiting for you to take those songs and play it as you decorate your tree, as you decorate the cookies, as you do all of your Christmas traditions together as a family. Have Lauren Daigle's Behold on because it'll give you all of those Christmas feels. Lauren's voice is one of a kind. There's nothing like it. And the music that comes behind her just sets the mood. Mm -hmm. So go to your streaming services of choice, whether it's Apple, uh, music, Spotify, whatever it may be, and add Lauren Daigle's Behold to the playlist. You will not regret it. Welcome back, back everybody. Um, so I'm I'm watching Bay, um, and she's <laughs> she said that we're getting we're getting, we're getting back. back we're getting back. Basically, oh, good, we're getting good, back. Good. And it is it all comes down for her. It all comes down to what happens in the hot takes. Wow, yeah. it's that big. And she wrote that in her notes. She wrote that in her notes. Interesting. I got some good news, Bay. Yeah. Yeah. Coming out swinging. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Move? <laughs> is this what you think swinging <laughs> is? I'm the champion. <laughs> You're the champion of swinging? Mm, yeah. Go sports. You're a, you're a swinging champion. Oh, big swings. Swing, swing. Swing, swing. swing. Uh, Panda, take it away, buddy. Hot take. What do you think of this movie? Oh Just give gosh. his voice a break. It's yeah, going to be I good know, for me to not hear it for a little bit. <laughs> 
Guys, I love this movie. Love it hard. Uh, top five, uh, easy for me. Might be, might take top spot. Here's why. Cast of characters, <clears throat> incredible. Uh, every single person in here gives a really super fun performance. Um, you end up loving the family. It's incredible that they have this many uh, uh, integral characters in a Hallmark movie um, that get, it seems to me, a fair amount of screen time for each one, which was really impressive. They do a really good job balancing it, while at the same time not sacrificing the love interest uh, between the two leads, which is really impressive. You have fun, quirky, laugh out loud humor, uh, Christmas feels throughout this movie. There's like... It doesn't, we, we said this when we were talking about, it, it doesn't have the traditional Hallmark feel. We have not seen a movie like this, which is incredible. We've seen, what, 200, over 200 of these. And, and this is a really, in my opinion, this is as close to a perfect Hallmark Christmas movie as we've seen. Wow. Um, in my opinion. I love it. It's one of my favorites that I've ever seen. Big feels, big, big, big fun, maybe 10. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Man. Um, yeah, man. Uh, freaking great movie. Like, this is a great movie. This is the best Hallmark Channel movie of the year. Hallmark Channel movie of the year as a whole so far. Um, kicking out whatever it was from the other day that I don't remember. Yeah, we did better. it today. Um, it's Christmas Starlight by Starlight. Yeah. yeah. Better than that. Um, so much fun. We reviewed it yesterday. You don't remember? <laughs> Sheesh, man. What a week. <laughs> Um, here's the thing, man. You know, you guys know how I stand on like where you stand fa- or how you stand. No, uh, how. where Don't and me. how. Okay. Hey, ba- Bay says to shut up. Okay. <laughs> you creating a fake podcast critic <laughs> does nothing. <laughs> who's, who's reviewing us in real time? For I me will to say, say I've gotten more nervous since Bay's been watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, Bay, sure. Bay, 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 Bay gets it. Bay gets, Bay gets it. it. Okay. What up, Bay? Where do you stand? <laughs> where I stand, how I stand on uh, movies that revolve around the family. Um, collective unit and uh, and friends and I feel like you get all of those elements because you get the family but the family's playing these guests and doing all these fun things it was very very fun like just very fun and I and I really love that we got the opportunity to be invested not just in um, Bethany Joy's relationship with Victor but also the dad's relationship with BT like though uh, both of those relationships I was invested in um, and what was the movie early this year where they had a lot of different storylines? And I did, it was the Christmas House. <clears throat> so, like the Christmas House, I didn't feel like I was able to fully get invested in all the storylines. This movie did it far and just a far more superior uh, way. I was able to get invested in each of the characters, um, what, even down to Amber being invested in Amber and watching her watch the videos of her mom and being like, Oh my gosh, I want to cook. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I want to follow on mom's cook step and be a good, uh, be a good, follow good, her cook good. step. That's the thing. You're killing it today, buddy. Hey, <laughs> so skip it up. Um, so yeah, I loved it. Uh, Oh, following her cook step. I, I think it's my, I think it's, you're going to go one. Aren't you? You're going to do it. I, I follow my, follow my friend. Did you say he number one? for sure? He said, I, I, I don't I know. Think I, uh, you know what? I'm going to go bold to help you out. Number one. Number one. Number two behind Deliver by Christmas. Wow. So don't, don't know. Oh, you wimped out. The, this, they, they didn't like they it. They didn't like that. <laughs> they hey, they, 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 no, no, they. <laughs> yeah. Don't. I love how putting a movie not first is wimping out. <laughs> <laughs> you wuss. Be a man. Put it one. <laughs> Of course, this guy thought this was swinging, so <laughs> this is an athletic event for I him. Did it. <laughs> Look, this movie is not perfect, but it is a delight. It really is a ton of fun. I, I don't know uh, what to tell you. I laughed in this movie more than I've ever laughed in a Hallmark movie. Bethany Joy Lins, who I've told you before the movie, is my favorite leading Hallmark actress. She's great in this, but not only is she great in this, you're 100% right, Brand. Every single one of these characters gets its due. The Christmas house needs to take some notes. This is how you do multiple plot lines. I said it during the movie, what you said, Panda. At a commercial break, I said, we're an hour and 10 minutes in. We have yet to see any of the standard Hallmark movie beats that we ever see. When I talk about Hallmark movies, I talk about good within the genre and then transcending the genre. This movie does transcend the genre. Yeah. I am very torn on if this is better than Delivered by Christmas or not. But you like it? I do like Dan it. Dan yeah. likes to move. Come on. Dan likes to move. Come on, bitch. Dan likes to move. Ho, ho. Dan likes to move. Oh. 
Oh, His yeah. name is Dan and he has a rough exterior, but he watches movie and he say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dan likes the movie. What'd you say? The best part about that was, is you tried to convince him to join by saying <laughs> that who's watching? Face watching. B, you said B. <laughs> You said, you just shut everything down. It's all gone. It's all gone. Are we even still recording? <laughs> We do not drink during this. Are we still recording? The video yes no? shut down. The video video shut down. How are we going to go to friendly? You want to go fix it? Do I'll go some fix actual it. Actual editing. But you keep going. Okay. All right. That's fine. I'll yeah, keep no. going. Uh, we just won't get some of it for friendly yeah. TV. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> listen. You said Bay, you stuck by Bay, and then to convince him, he said B is watching. Yeah, and it worked. And because it worked, as soon and you were like, oh, it, that's when I knew. The fictional B character is watching uh, that. Look, it is, I don't know, because I think Deliver by Christmas uh, is probably a more authentic movie as a whole. This movie's just a ton of fun. Yeah. Like, this movie felt like Snowbride to me. Like, yeah. a lot of winking at the camera. Uh, very good job by the entire cast. The The secondary role, the, the guy that plays Grandpa in this movie is an absolute riot. Uh, there's a scene where they're pulling Taffy where he his comedic timing <laughs> is just perfect in this movie. I love Bethany Joy Lenz. Victor Webster's just along for the ride. Um, there are Long. plenty of things to, to make fun of here. Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm never not definitive on this. I, I just, it's hard. I think Delivered by Christmas is a great movie. I don't go by, I was thinking about this the other night. Your your rankings are purely would I watch, how much would I watch it again or not? Yep. Like that's what it is for 100%. you. 100%. That is it. If I'd watch, the more I would be likely to watch it again, the higher it is on your list. That's just not how I'm wired because qualitatively there are movies that are better, I think, but I wouldn't necessarily watch them again. Like 12th Day to Christmas, easy watch for me. Loved it. Easy watch, but not a movie that qualitatively did nearly what like Delivered by Christmas or Cranberry Christmas did. Um, but it's so much fun. I th yeah, I'm gonna go one. I think. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go one. I'm gonna go, you know, whip out like some it's people a new here. one. Uh, that's what did it for me. Uh, I knew B was watching, and and one <laughs> did it for me. Uh, the wimping thing out. Uh, yeah. So it's one delivered by Christmas two, uh, Christmas bow three. That that is, and then uh, uh, Christmas by Starlight four. That's my order right hey, now. Hey, Bay just said she's proud of you. Wow. Thanks, Bay. Fictional uh, person. <laughs> hey, uh, it's time for all the feels part of the show. We talk about what in this movie gave us those feels. Panda. Man, what didn't give me the feels, but like, here's the deal. The camcorder scene, girl pulls Come on. out, like, it's guys, like interstellar for holy crying out loud. smoke. <laughs> yeah, what happened there? And then she's like, I love you, mom, at the end. Or, Jeez. hey there, mom, that's what she said. God, like, we were all stop crying. It. And it, stop I was it. not crying. At this moment. You teared up. I did not. You it, teared up. I did not. You that's up. when we knew, though, that this was a, like. Hey, yes, B just she, wrote that you teared up. this B it's, it's or written B, down. whoever that is, whomever. Whatever the case may be. It's written down. Listen, that scene had no business working because up until that point, it had been weird, awkward hijinks the whole movie long. And, but that scene 100% works anyway. it didn't feel weird. No. Within the it flow. Didn't. And it was incredible. Like, and, and that, that, that moment launches her career track is believable. Yeah. It, it's, it's beautiful. Um, and man, even the, like, honestly, the, the brother and, uh, uh, her brother, uh, whose yeah. wife gets pregnant. That's a great man. That's yeah. great. Like that's uh, that's I a mean, cute plot uh, that really. I mean, there's just oh, gosh, it just so is good. amazing what they did in 83 minutes yes. versus what the Christmas Incredible. house did in 83 minutes. The Christmas house has this full decoration. They got a mom and dad that are maybe getting divorced. Uh, they have one couple that's trying to adopt a kid. Another couple or another two that are getting together. Yeah. And it seemed like everything got shortchanged. People were just waiting on phone calls. This movie has an end that's that's basically run fa by by fake you know actors that are family members and has all of those plot lines and it, they do it all incredibly well. Man, yeah. big arc, big arc, big arc, big arc. ten. Um, a couple of scenes for me. Obviously, the camcorder scene yeah. is magic. Um, the dad at the end telling uh, Beth how he feels. Like I don't it like was if, so if, genuine. If, if so genuine. It felt like a guy who has not put himself out there in 15 mm -hmm. years. That's what it felt like. Yeah. For, yep. It was great. It was, he didn't say too much. He, he, he said wasn't he smooth at all. No, no. it was great. No. Um, and like uh, the, the blue Christmas scene was fine, but the, the reason why I liked it is the way that Hallmark did it or whoever made this movie did it in such a way to where we still don't know that whole story. You know? No, we don't. They, they, they didn't tell us the whole blue Christmas story. They, they were talking 
it faded and then it, to tell us that a lot of time has passed and we are halfway through this blue Christmas story that we don't know the whole story of. And it's like this sweet little, like this is something between those two characters and not even right. us as the audience oh, are in yeah. on it and it matters to them. So I really love that. And, you know, Vic obviously was very uncomfortable with that scene, which I thought was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. So kudos he to him. He was very uncomfortable. Kudos to him for doing it. But I just, lo I like that little little thing that you don't see in Hallmark. Hallmark tells you everything. And, this, yep. and I, that is, I think that's why this movie is number one for me is because they never, they never dive into that pool of sentimentality. Mm -hmm. They always make it be more realistic. The closest we get is that camcorder scene and it's perfect. Yep. It's not the whole family watching it together and yep. crying. It's just this private moment with her. We don't know that whole story. I really liked the first kiss in this movie where she kind of comes on to him yeah. and yeah. like talks about how handsome he is and then they kiss. That scene is wonderful, but really, the, every scene you talked about is great. The blue Christmas scene is awkward. It's an awkward end of the movie that yeah. if you love Hallmark movies for what they are, you will probably hate because there's nothing stylistic about it. Like he's singing off key. They do this weird he's dance. Like, Please let me yeah, stop. <laughs> yeah. And it, it works because that's much more realistic to real life. I'm just telling you when she goes upstairs, the only real Hallmark beat in this whole movie is when she goes upstairs and she sees the open laptop that hasn't gone to screensaver or cut off. It's still running full battery. And she sees that he's the real B B Turner, not Bete or whatever you call her, him. Uh, Don't. Yeah. She sees that it's really him. She's really mad. She comes back downstairs and everyone knows she's mad. And grandpa's just slowly pulling the taffy <laughs> <laughs> and looking at her. And it is just perfect. Like his, that, that is just perfect to me. So yeah, I mean, I, I think they hit on the comedic front, they hit on the romantic front and they hit on the feels front. So they hit across the board. All the fronts, I think at this point were hit. They were all hit. Full front. Oh, we got a full hit boy. Hey, <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> We'll be right back here on Swinging Deck for the Fences. We're back. The good news is, everybody, the video saved. The oh, video thank goodness. saved. Good, good, good. Big mm. fun. Mm. Um, maybe? Yeah. Maybe 10? Big 10. Maybe 10. Wow. Interesting. Uh, it's time for the Wait What? It's the part of the show. We talk about what in this movie made us go, wait, what? Panda? Man, there's hardly anything in this movie. Like, for me personally, <clears throat> uh, I, I I normally, I know we're supposed to come with about three. I only have two. Uh, first one was uh, they find the grandpa in the, like, he's at the Christmas play thing. I don't know. What, what is it? You the impression we're supposed to only bring three? Or more. I, uh, for the first year, we were only allowed to do two. Since right. then, you just bring as many as you have. It doesn't really... We've never said three. Really? Don't never. limit yourself. Was, not once. But I thought that was unwritten. It was like... The rest rule. is still unwritten. Yes, the rest that is, is... That's actually yeah, written. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is written? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. It's in the bylaws. Look them up. Man. Trace, you got those bylaws? I sure do! How, how many? Oh, 14! <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Grandpa, like they're doing an ugly Christmas sweater. The two guys are covering their eyes yeah. and face. I don't understand why you would need to do that unless they're it. doing like a vote in the crowd uh, and they were like, who has the uglier Christmas sweater? But why wouldn't you don't need to close your eyes? And then that. it's like, honor system. They could be looking through their <laughs> yeah, eyes. And I even if they see the results, who cares? Who, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, anyway, it was a weird bit. Uh, then also just the screensaver, like. It's a real thing on our laptops. It's a power save mode. It yeah. really it's automatic. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know anyone who has that on. Like I just don't get it. That's the only two that I really. Found. I'm sure there's more. But I've man, turned I just, the power save off before yeah. a couple times because so it doesn't cut off my. Uh, there's a for uh, my upload movie. Okay. Um, no, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Called it may be Hope at Christmas. It's the Kring, original Kringles movie. Kringles. Uh, Kringles. That's the, Kringles. Gosh, that's the first gosh. time that I saw that in a movie. Wow. Oh, Mark, yeah. Um, I got a few. One, I know why they put the breaker in his room. <laughs> I just don't know why the breaker's in his room. Yeah. I know why the writers put it in his room. I just don't know why the breaker would be and in a why in the bedroom. Literally two guests. Yes. Put, put him in the breaker room. In the breaker when you've been having issues. She. Um they, they're the snowball, uh, snowman scene is interesting because <laughs> yes, it Victor is. and um, the brother both bring their 
they're rolled up snowballs. The giant snowballs. They yeah. come from walking out of the woods with these giant snowballs. And those stuff. things are heavy. What? Yeah, why massive. are you building it? Why are you rolling them in the woods? I don't know. I That was weird. Um, d- Dad plays Santa at the festival. And he's getting ready. He hasn't put his beard on yet. That's fine. He's still at home. He gets to his station. He is sitting down in the chair. And he still has not put his beard on. Dude, you got to put your beard on in public. Come on, man. Can't hey, that, uh, you like that. Yeah, you got to do that. And um, listen, we didn't really touch on much of the brother storyline and his uh, wife. And they're uh, expecting a baby. And right, they right, want right. to travel the world. And he's, he, you know, she's like, I know you had all these plans and we're going to have to stop and have a family. And he's like, we're going to do things different. We're going to travel. Now, I haven't Look, traveled a lot man. with my three-year-old. But last year, we had a live show in L.A. And I yeah. traveled from South Carolina to L.A. We all and took my, our kids yeah, out there. And, yeah. and my son was decently well behaved for that trip yeah and i never want to do it again Dude. like it, it isn't fun you're not going to enjoy it so kudos to you for you trying it i'm just telling explain you explain to an infant you, while you're on the why you were on the tarmac in dallas fort worth but can't get off the plane yeah. yet because one they don't speak english fluently but two you yourself don't know <laughs> yeah and it's frustrating to everyone involved yeah. and it babies don't care they're on a schedule yeah you know. Yeah, I doubled down on stupid on that you trip. Did. We yeah, only did. Did, took my daughter out to L.A., but then I decided, why don't we make a big family affair? And we road tripped all the way from California to uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico mm. uh, over the next two weeks. <laughs> Let's get it. And so, phone uh, it, phone it, phone it. yeah, my yeah, daughter wasn't even sorry. one at that point. Yeah. I, was that smart? In retrospect, no. So when they did say that in the movie, I sat there and went, oh, buddy. Yeah, come I know, on, because dude. you, you have class. such optimism yeah. as class. a parent. Like my kid's going to be different. My kid's going to be different. And to be fair, my daughter was a jewel and a gem and way better than I thought. It was still a miserable yeah, My kid's still babies. Kid. My just kid's just never going to watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dan? Yeah, uh, there are a bunch in this movie. It's so funny because they concentrate really hard on making a movie that's not like Hallmark, that they they actually have a lot of the ma- the major like softball Hallmark weight what's in this movie. For instance, when she's brushing her teeth, there is no toothbrush, there is no toothpaste yeah. on the toothbrush. There's no water on the toothbrush. And she just is kind of like brushing it for literally no it's a reason. Dry scrub. It's a dry scrub. I don't understand it for the life of me. Um, she comes in from outside. She twists her ankle with the twig and Victor Webster like picks her up because Victor Webster is just a giant, giant man, man. And he picks her up and puts her on the counter to put ice on it he pops her boot off she, she it's freezing cold she is wearing zero socks she is bare feet on under those soft boots outside for the life of me i don't understand that can we talk about this woman who has a flat tire is not a writer of bed and breakfast reviews is going to stay one night before staying with family and then decides to stay for what i think is all of christmas week yeah that's weird, right? Like yeah. that's she not was enjoying normal. it. I, I sure, but, yeah, but maybe he didn't have to travel. Maybe he was getting a little hiatus. Yeah, sure. If you say so. Um, at one point, Victor Webster is wearing a Henley under a flannel <laughs> under a cardigan with a scarf. I'm I'm pretty sure that's how you make a Hallmark milkshake. Like yeah. I don't even know that was possible <laughs> to do on one person. Like Vic, I know you're ripped, but bro, you don't need eight layers of Christmassy nonsense. That's I'm not making that up. Henley, flannel, cardigan, scarf. One scene. And in that scene later, when he's talking. So this milkshake. <laughs> no, no. It's not number doing 13 of the bylaws. We got to do it. Yeah, no, 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 do I've it. read them. Yeah. If someone mentions milkshake, yeah, you got to do the big. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's, there's a scene when he's in that outfit, when they're talking with the dad, who's not in his Santa beer, but he's sitting down. Right. And when the camera angle is on uh, Victor, his fl- his scarf is hanging down. When it's on the wide shot, his scarf is wrapped around his neck, and it keeps going back and forth. <laughs> down, wrapped around his neck. Down, wrapped around his neck. Like easy fix. Just keep it one way or the other. I, I pretty simple. I love the camcorder scene. The camcorders they made in the '90s 
did not have USB outs on them. They didn't. I'm sorry. That's That would not have happened in real life. There is still a price tag on the refrigerator uh, for the love. <laughs> Unless you got your refrigerator and you put the refrigerator, if you bought it at Best Buy and then put it in another Best Buy, maybe it would still have the sticker on it. If it's at home, that thing does not show up. The delivery men don't bring it with a sticker on it. Like there would be no reason for there to be a price tag on the refrigerator. And also they use that as the way for her to realize that her dad now has a bed and breakfast, which makes less sense. She sees the signs and the check-in booth. We don't need a price tag on the refrigerator. It doesn't really make any sense. Um, and then this is just personal. It really, this is not the movie's fault. But watching what amounts to eight people rub the same stick of butter during COVID was very <sighs> difficult for me. It's tough. I'm not a germaphobe, but that was brutal. They're, they're just passing it around, just rubbing the same stick of butter. And I was like, could we not? Is there nothing else we left on the cutting room floor that would keep us from having to watch this scene? But apparently there was nothing. And so they did it. Those I, are my way. I probably shouldn't have done that Thanksgiving this year, huh? Yeah, probably not. Uh, there was 50 of us. Yeah. <laughs> there wasn't even any yeah. taffy. We just yeah. passed around the stick of butter. Right. Time you, to rub the butter. Right. Right. <laughs> All right, it's guys. Yeah. It's time tradition. for that old panda yeah. tradition. Oh, but, rub the butter. butter rub. <laughs> it's butter rub. What's the goal? Is it be the last person to have any butter Real rub? rubs that butter gone wins. <laughs> How long do you play? <laughs> hours. I was butter rub. You still rub. play? When you get yeah. home, you still gotta you gotta jump back yeah. in the game. I, Our fingers are just. You've crazy. never you've never won. You've been butter <laughs> rub runner up a few yeah. years, but yep. you've never really gets down to the very end. It's and tough. I just hope it's tough. Butter rubber, grandma, rubber, butter rubber, 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 rubber. Grandma Susie. Yeah, she crushes, crushes it every, every year. You're rub it. Uh, it's time for what the hallmark is the part of the show where we talk about uh, the questions that we still have in this movie, Panda. Uh, yeah, I want to know about uh, yeah. So does the uh, does the sister ever go off and start or like a culinary? Uh, what's she going to do with the mom's recipes? Is she going to just work at the end and really develop as the chef? Is she going to go off to being a, a culinary like go off to school and that's going to be sure, kind of her sure. major? Is she, like, sure. What's what's the thing there? I'm I'm like I'm invested in that storyline. I yeah. want to know. Yeah, because you're you're a cook at heart. Yeah, um, I got to know more about uh, about. <laughs> About B. Taylor. We talked about the butter rub. I think we know he's a cook at heart. <laughs> I got to know more about B. Taylor, Turner. What is it? Yeah, B. Turner. B. Turner. Yes. The company. It's not just one person. It seems to be a, yeah. a conglomeration of uh, different writers and going different places. I think he's not the only writer. I'm not 100% sure. So I just want to know more about the, the business, Dan. Yeah, I do. Like, I'm fine that they didn't tell us. I'm very interested in the Blue Christmas story sure. in general. And then my other one was the B. Turner place. That yep. They're all just like, how has no one figured that out yet? Yeah. That's pretty good that no one knows the identity of B. Turner and it's different people, but they are in an office somewhere. It would be tough to hide what they actually do there time, when yeah. there's signs up in the office. So right. I, that was fascinating to me. Those are my two. That's all I got. Yeah, for a place that's trying to remain stealth, let's put our logo everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Stamp it down. Um, hey, guys, we did it. Hey. Uh, we always like to end with the uh, Double Decker of the Week, talking about uh, a different Bramble Jam Plus member, a part of our family. Uh, Panda, you do that deep dive. Sure do. You go to Google Plus Plus, and you just do all sorts of different yeah, I'm, searching. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a premium member. Yes. Of Google uh, Plus Plus. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Dan, who do we have? Natalie Lubrano. Natalie Lubrano. Uh, I'm really excited, guys. She's 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 drawn out the extra money to sponsor, you know, the Bramble Jam Plus, and I, I'm so thankful because she's drawing out the extra money, like drawing it, withdrawing it from her bank. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and listen, <laughs> like, and she's listen, and well, just starting off a brand new company. I think you guys are going to love it. Drawing it out. <laughs> We've been waiting on her ten dollars for six months. She keeps giving me a good excuse. Just drawing it out. <laughs> I don't ask questions about her life. You know, where are you at? But I mean, you know, I'm going to try that next time. I owe, owe, owe on a bill or something. Ah, I'm drawing it out. It's coming. <laughs> don't you guys? That's how I get out. Yeah. So I've she's drawing out. In years. She, she's drawing out to sponsor the podcast. Yeah, right. drawing drawing yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah. Uh, start, start a, a new company, uh, Honey Bake Spam. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
It, it's just spam. Honey baked. Okay. Is it spam the meat or spam the emails? Well, that's where you would. Yeah. This is where it gets interesting. Yes. Here right. we go. You ready? you ready? Yeah. It's the it's the meat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> I don't really have any questions. Now I, I am under the here. impression though that spam the meat was a name brand. You, it's not like ham. Yeah, ham is just a meat. Like ham turkey. is a meat. Yeah, spam sure, is sure, a name sure. brand of spam. Yeah, yeah. We have run into some copyright issues. Sure. sure. Are, you, you are, you in, are you involved? Well, I, I pitched it. Why I'm drawing you? some money out. <laughs> okay. It, drawing it out. So okay. we're, we're drawn together. You keep doing this. Is it our money? Well, Probably yeah. our money. Yes, it is. By law 15. Mm. By law 15. Yes, there were it. only 14. Yeah, we, just, we just wrote just one. Said, we just wrote it just now. Then what have you been doing before this? Oh, I was I was doing the pot. I multitask. Okay, better than you yeah. ever have. Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> All right, we did it, everybody. We're back what did tomorrow. Bay think just the final. What did, did Bay come back around? Big or fan not? of the spam. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, did we lose her there? <laughs> Dan, just relax. Panda knocking out the brand, brand hot, hot, hot. You know, he is the normal brand stuff. Hot, brand hot, hot, hot. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Nick the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's produced by Brandon Gray and presented by Friendly TV. Our lovely set is decorated by Plum Home Decor. You can check them out at plumonmain.com. For more information on Bramble Jam podcast, go to bramblejampodcast.com. And to hear every Bramble Jam podcast ad-free, go to bramblejamplus.com. Looking to save big on holiday shopping? Xfinity Mobile has you covered. Now through January 10th, ask how existing Xfinity customers can get a free unlimited intro line for a year when they buy one line of unlimited. Plus, see how to get $400 off an eligible 5G phone. Visit XfinityMobile.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. Xfinity Mobile requires Xfinity Internet. Reduce speeds after 20 gigabytes of usage per line. Data thresholds may vary.